Apollo, they were all interesting to me. You know, it was it was a great adventure. We uh, we we ran tests in the operations and checkout building on Apollo 12 after the test run with the astronauts and they've left and we're doing the securing of the spacecraft. We had some, um, the technicians are in there are putting stuff away, turning things off. One of the quality guys that was doing the final close out looks at he says, hey guys, I just spotted a roach. So he said, ah, come on man. First of all, you can't have spotted a roach because he didn't have a badge, did he? But test conductor and I said, well, we have to do something. The test conductor gave it to me. We can't just go in there and, and fumigate it with toxics because this is not compatible with the, the interior of the spacecraft. So we had to be a little bit creative about this. Well, all we need is some sticky paper and uh, we need to, to present a meal and we'll catch it. And there'd be all this laughing. They, well, okay, Bob, what are you gonna try tonight? You know, Fritos, chips, uh, Snickers, Bars, uh, how about some sticky paper? Our lead operations guy for the uh, uh, spacecraft, Ernie Reyes, and he made cartoons for the schedules every day. We had an ant eater, and he's drawn real nice by somebody that drew an ant eater, and he's on a leash and they about to put him in the cabin. I said, well, okay, Yankee Clipper is the name of the spacecraft. Uh, they said, well, we got a new name for it. And what's that? It's the roach coach, or in Hispanic terms, the cucaracha. <laughs> and that became the test team name for the spacecraft. And the paperwork associated with this problem could fill a three ring binder. And it was one of the last documents we got concurrence to close before we picked up the launch count on Apollo 12. And to this day, we don't know whether the roach ever came out at night when we weren't looking. Obviously, we didn't catch it with any of our traps or whether it made a trip to the moon and back. I'm Bob Seek. That's a previously untold story from the Rocket Ranch.